Calcium oxide, commonly known as quicklime or burnt lime, is a widely used chemical compound. It is a white, caustic, alkaline, crystalline solid at room temperature. The broadly used term lime connotes calcium containing inorganic materials, in which carbonates, oxides and hydroxides of calcium, silicon, magnesium, aluminium, and iron predominate. By contrast, quicklime specifically applies to the single chemical compound calcium oxide. Calcium oxide which survives processing without reacting and building products such as cement is called free lime. Quicklime is relatively inexpensive. Both it and a chemical derivative are important commodity chemicals. Preparation Calcium oxide is usually made by the thermal decomposition of materials such as limestone, or seashells, that contain calcium carbonate in a lime kiln. This is accomplished by heating the material to above 825 AA degrees Celsius, a process called calcination or lime burning, to liberate a molecule of carbon dioxide, leaving quick lime. The quick lime is not stable and, when cooled, will spontaneously react with CO2 from the air until, after enough time, it will be completely converted back to calcium carbonate unless slaked with water to set as lime plaster or lime mortar. Annual worldwide production of quick lime is around 283 million metric tons. China is by far the world's largest producer, with a total of around 170 million tons per year. The United States is the next largest, with around 20 million tons per year. Usage, heat, quick lime produces heat energy by the formation of the hydrate, calcium hydroxide, by the following equation. CaO plus H2O car. OH, 2. As it hydrates, an exothermic reaction results in the solid puffs up. The hydrate can be reconverted to quicklime by removing the water by heating it to redness to reverse the hydration reaction. One liter of water combines with approximately 3.1 kilograms of quicklime to give calcium hydroxide plus 3.54 AMJ of energy. This process can be used to provide a convenient portable source of heat as for on-the-spot food warming in a self-heating can. Light, when quick lime is heated to 2400 AA degrees Celsius, it emits an intense glow. This form of illumination is known as a limelight, and was used broadly in theatrical productions prior to the invention of electric lighting. Cement, calcium oxide is a key ingredient for the process of making cement. As an alkali in biodiesel production, petroleum industry, Water detection pastes contain a mix of calcium oxide and phenolphthalene. Should this paste come into contact with water in a fuel storage tank, the car reacts with the water to form calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide has a high enough pH to turn the phenolphthalene a vivid purplish pink color, thus indicating the presence of water. Paper Calcium oxide is used to regenerate sodium hydroxide from sodium carbonate in the chemical recovery at craft pulp mills. Plaster There is archaeological evidence that pre pottery Neolithic be humans used limestone based plaster for flooring and other uses. Such lime ash floor remained in use until the late 19th century. Chemical or power production Solid sprays or slurries of calcium oxide can be used to remove sulfur dioxide from exhaust streams in a process called flue gas desulfurization. Use as a weapon, historian and philosopher David Hume, in his History of England, recounts that early in the reign of Henry III, the English Navy destroyed an invading French fleet by blinding the enemy fleet with quicklime. Da Euro unregistered trademark Albany employed a stratagem against them, which is said to have contributed to the victory, having gained the wind of the French, he came down upon them with violence, and throwing in their faces a great quantity of quicklime, which he purposely carried on board, he so blinded them, that they were disabled from defending themselves. Quicklime is also thought to have been a component of Greek fire. Upon contact with water, quicklime would increase its temperature above 150 AA degrees Celsius and ignite the fuel. Health issues, because of vigorous reaction of quicklime with water, quicklime causes severe irritation when inhaled or placed in contact with moist skin or eyes. Inhalation may cause coughing, sneezing, labored breathing. It may then evolve into burns with perforation of the nasal septum, 
abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. Although quicklime is not considered a fire hazard, its reaction with water can release enough heat to ignite combustible materials. References External links, Lime Statistics and Information from the United States Geological Survey, Factors Affecting the Quality of Quicklime, American Scientist, Chemical of the Week Euro Lime, Lime Production Process Presentation, Material Safety Data Sheet, CDC, NIOSH Pogger Guide to Chemical Hazards.